All right, so the first thing you're going to need is a soldering iron or something that gets really hot. And we're going to look at the wheels. So I got this nice thick plate steel. Throw that on there. Now what I like about the plate steel is it's nice and cool right here. It stays cold. Uh, that way, uh, if I want to do it, I don't have to have the steel block. So you can have a steel block too. So I'm making these really, really small PLA spikes like this. These, this is 1.75 filament PLA. And I used to use the uh, three millimeter, but for s smaller stuff, the 1.75 works really well, especially with the tank treads themselves, putting those together. Now I've shown this video before, uh, but I want to keep this kind of all inclusive to the actual build of the, the thing. So what I'm doing here is I'm making a very small end cap and I kind of tap it on the nice cold metal and instantly good. Okay, and I'm going to thread that through the tire, just like that. And roughly one inch. I wouldn't go measuring it. Uh, this stuff is pretty inexpensive, and I supply enough for the build. Okay. So I'm going to do that times three, or times four. You are going to need some glue. I would highly suggest gluing these also. I like the PLA spikes, but I use Gorilla Super Glue. This stuff is amazing with ABS plastic. It actually melts it a little bit. Um, no other super glue that, like some super glues, just kind of adhere things. This actually physically melts the ABS a little bit together. So I, th I found that kind of cool. At least that's what it looks like it's doing, but yeah, I would I would say definitely melt it together. Once you glue it, it almost bonds instantaneously, <laughs> and I can't say enough about that right there. Okay, there we go. So there's my four little posts. Let me kind of zoom in here. And I'll stick on an ND filter here on this. There we go. That works a little bit better. So there, I'm going, now I'm going to take this and put that down next. And what I would do, personally, uh, I would sand this a little bit, sand the other one, and then put some glue in the center. I'm not going to do that here in the video because, you know, in case I screw up on this video, um, I now have an out. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put these two together with the PLA spikes. Now you can do this all at once. It doesn't really matter how you do it. It's just as long as the BLA spikes go all the way through the two, just like that. Good. And last but not least, just like that. Okay. Now, this little guy right here doesn't support... Um, the 1.75 PLA okay so what you have to do with them you have to take a drill bit and measure it out uh, it has to be 1.75 on the drill bit a little bit over is fine but you have to drill the outermost holes around the outside edge okay now if you're building this with um, the M2 screw, you have to use M2 20 millimeter. <sighs> I 
All right, perfect. Now this little wheel will fit in here. And this is the this is the fun part because now you got four things you got to sandwich all together. Perfect. And then you can clip these rather short, but not too short because you have to melt them. Now PLA actually melts at a lower temperature than most plastic. So that means that it will not melt the black plastic when tacked down. So this is just kind of riveting these together. And there we go. Just like that. Now let that dry before you monkey with it because really um, it takes a couple seconds to adhere down. Now you could glue everything. Let's say you want to add some super glue to all three layers. That's fine too. Uh, again, just for this build, I wanted to kind of do it just in case the video got screwed up. Cool. So there's a tire. And you need two of them with the servos just like that and then you need uh, four without the servos alright so there's the tire let's go on to the tank treads and see how they work 